Part kits allow the grouping of parts to act as a single item. You may also set prompts to be asked whether or not to include any individual item within the kit during each transfer onto an order or include all the parts with no question. There are two different options for building part kits, standard pricing and bundled pricing. Standard pricing means that the items in the part kit will sell for what they would have sold for as individual parts. If there were five parts in the kit and all were used, they would appear as five line items with five prices on the order. Bundled pricing occurs when Use Bundled Pricing is checked. A new price field allows entry of a single price for the entire kit regardless of how many individual parts are included. This part kit will appear as a single line item using the part kit description on the order. Decide which method is best suited for your purposes. Creating a sample part kit. This will be a radiator hose part kit built from records in the inventory list. Clicking Add opens the Add Kit window. Fill in kit number with Hose Kit 1 so that it may be listed and searched for later. For kit description, use Radiator Hose Kit. For category, use Belts and Hoses. Because the part kit screen is designed for grouping parts, items have to first be part records included in your inventory list before they can be added to the kit. If any changes are required to part details such as pricing, category, or description, that must be handled in the inventory record stage before adding these items to the part kit. Clicking on Add opens the inventory list to add a part to this new kit. Enter 7202 for part number. Click on Search or press Enter. Click on Transfer to place a copy in the part kit. Please note that the program will also automatically include two hose clamps that have been attached to the radiator hose being transferred to the kit. This is due to the attached part feature used so that two hose clamps always go along with that hose. Click on Add to open the inventory list again to transfer another part. Click on Clear in the Inventory List screen as we need a part that's found in a different category. With Category Cleared, enter ANTI in Description. Click on Search. Now our half gallon of antifreeze part record is visible. Click on Transfer. Now the Add Kit window displays with hose, two clamps, and antifreeze. One simple adjustment is necessary. Change the quantity of the antifreeze to two units. Double click on the line detailing the antifreeze and an edit kit line box opens up. Change the quantity to two in there. Note the prompt on use checkbox. This is provided for kit parts that may not always be used every time. If this box is checked, the software will pop up a dialog box asking to include this part. Click on OK to see that all the kit items are now ready. Clicking on OK once more in the Add Kit window will save all of our work. Hose Kit 1 is now listed in the available kits and ready to use.